Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing our senior footprint video and we're going to be going through all of our yearbooks from the beginning of MRCS to right now. So starting with square one. Um, I was in Mr. Alexander's class and I was the size of his leg. <laughs> <laughs> um, fourth grade was tough because I didn't want to leave my school because a lot of my friends didn't come here, but I learned to make new friends and it didn't end up being so bad. So next. <laughs> 2012, 5th grade. Woo, 5th. 5th grade was the year that me and Maddie tried to start a dance team. Oh, yeah. Um, so, it was really good getting turned down for that. Yeah. But now it's a reality. Go yeah. Ladybirds. Go Ladybirds. We started you in 5th grade, but it just never came to fruition until later on. And that year, I was an Annie with um, Harper and Maddie oh. and Anna Pinky. Yeah. What did you say? I started your love for theater? It's, yeah, I became a thespian that year. For 5th grade, I started cross country. It was like the second sport at the school, I think, too. And it was really fun. I started my passion for running, and I haven't stopped since. <laughs> <laughs> so try new things. That's what that means. Go out and do things in school. That was so 6th so grade is really... Where we all became friends. Say that like, the people that you like hang out with early in your life may not always be the same people that you end with, and that's okay. It's a natural part of life. This 6th grade was the year that I joined the cheer team and there was only five people on it. Had, we didn't even have enough like of the same color uniform to have the same color, so we had like different uniforms. Like, It's crazy to see how much it's grown. So seventh grade, apparently, according to the cover of this, is when I started building the school, so that's something. Seventh grade, I was on volleyball, which I wish I had done that instead of dance. So. <laughs> Regrets. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason, though. So. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. But, what if um, you, like, got, like, hurt, hurt or something? something. Yeah. That was the year I did soccer, and I didn't ever do it. I really liked it, but I never did it a year after that, because you just have to learn that you don't have enough time to do everything you want to do, and you have to prioritize what you want to prioritize. So I prioritized review. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Oh, don't oh let God. a boy ruin your friendship. Yeah, don't let yeah. a boy ruin your friendship. Mm -hmm. If like one that. of your friends oh. are like being rude, don't let that influence you to be a bad yeah. person. Because yeah. that's yeah. one of my yeah. main regrets. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. High school. Oh, oh my God. Freshman year. Are your retainers because don't go through all those years braces and yes. Though. Freshman year is a time where people are still going through an awkward phase, and so yeah. like everyone is going through the same thing you are. Do well. Yeah. Don't think that freshman yeah. year doesn't matter because you? if you mess up <laughs> yeah. your grades freshman <laughs> year, your it's hard to get ruined for the rest yeah. of the year. It's hard to get, get back. No, I had a no, really I good did. time. I got like a B in science, and I could have so easily not. Freshman year is easy, and your classes are easy, so try hard because it helps your GPA in the long run. Don't make your easy A class come your D class. Uh, go, go, to your your game. Game. go to your football like, games. Go to your football games. Dress as crazy not, as possible because you'll look here. back at your pictures of dressing crazy with your friends and yeah, it'll be such fun. a good memory than Having if you wear spirit, like regular clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Tenth grade. Like I had just got my braces off, like actually, and this like the first boy like called me pretty and I like hopped in. I wanted a boyfriend so bad. And before you get yourself in a relationship, make sure you like look at red flags and see what you're getting yourself into. And like love yourself before you get into any relationship. And having a boyfriend isn't everything. No, no not at all. It, but talk to your yeah. friends. They'll help you through it. Yeah, yes. listen, to your, listen to your friends. Listen to the people around you. If they don't yeah. like him, there's probably well, a reason. Don't be afraid to make friends with people outside of your grade mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. those can be some of the best people you know because I still talk to most of the people that I talk to that are older than me. 11th grade. It's prom. Just 11th grade prom was so, so fun. Go, go to prom. prom. And go to prom. prom. Yes. Go to prom. Yeah. Go to prom. Junior year's the hardest year of high school, and so you have Grind. to have. It was so hard. Yeah. yeah. Grind. Do as well as you can. It it's, so it. it's, it's, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. You want to get the most important. You want to be able to get into all the colleges you want to go to. I regret. Don't, you want to have options. I did. Yeah. When you come to Mr. Guy's class or whoever is teaching a push, do your work. Like, and if they're a hard so teacher, hard, no, there's a reason that they're yeah, being yeah. like hard because it, it'll benefit you in the long yeah. run. Yeah. It's so yeah, yeah. hard, but it's so like trust. rewarding. Yeah. yeah. Yes. When you get like, if you get grade. caught up in how much you don't want to do things, then it really negatively affects you. And talk to your teachers. If you yes, need help, yes, get yes. The help you need I really learned that. Create you. relationships with your teachers because talk they will help you. Yeah. Right, Nike. Mr. Guy? Let's go. Do your job. If you meet new people in your year, like the new people that you meet, you need to make sure they have the best intentions for you. Like you're not too cool to dress out, and you're not too cool to not like. Yeah. Nothing is too cool. Go do the haunted trail. Like help yeah. out with fall yeah. guys. Yeah. In high school. Yeah. Yeah. And no one's out. actually judging you. Like. Don't yeah. yeah. One of the main lessons I learned in year is you have to stand up for what you believe in because there are going to be people that are going to like yeah. really tell you that 
doing what you think is right is not right and you have to do it anyways because it's what's going to make you the most satisfied inside yes don't do things out of habit that don't make you happy because yeah, yeah true don't do things like if it makes you like miserable or you don't like it if it's like a sport finish out your season don't be someone that like Quit. like quits quit. because yeah. that like just hurts your team it hurts you and it hurts your team Fair. finish out your season and then take a step back and realize like what you really want to do and yeah. find, find, find little moment. things that make you happy like yeah because like high school's hard and like you can get like focused on the wrong things but it's good to like find one like hobby or something that like, <coughs> keeps you grounded and like like yeah so be sure that you're reflecting on the things that are like i feel like it's so bad things easy. happen but you need to think, think learn about them in the best way yeah when you've moved on Everything happens for a reason. Dang your year. Hello. Your plan for your future that you've always thought was going to be your plan uh, is not. not plan. It's not. It's just and not. It's okay to not have a plan yeah. because I went yeah. into senior year scared, didn't want to go to college, like just had no idea what I wanted to do, but like still apply and give yourself options because mm -hmm. your your mind will change from the first day of senior year to the last. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah yes. Really give yourself options. <laughs> Don't give up senior year. Good. Um. Everyone told me I was crazy for taking five AP classes at the beginning yeah. of the year, and I, it kind of was insane, but I don't regret a moment of it. It helped me get into colleges that I never thought I was going to get into. Um, and it, just don't give up. Like, you're almost done, but if you give up, then you're just not setting yourself in a right place to start out college and, like, like go get a job, go do stuff. Like, mm -hmm. do things. Don't give up senior year and be like, why am I senior? It doesn't matter. I'm done. Because yeah. it does matter. Because we all are like, oh, I wish you took, like, I wish we didn't take all these classes, but we don't know, like, behind the behind the scenes if that was, like, what we, like, got you really into the honors college, got you into college. whatever. And most likely you're not going to regret taking the class once it's over. So. Yeah. Very true. Now that all of our classes are almost over, I'm like, yeah, it really wasn't that. Like, I have made it to the end. Like, yeah. yeah we're fine now. And you always you're going to make it. Yeah, yeah. you're going to make it. Yeah. Aww. Okay. So there's our footprint. <laughs> <laughs>